I'm Dale Woodland, Director of Museum Operations for the Reading Railroad Heritage Museum in Hamburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, this museum is part of the Reading Company Technical and Historical Society, which is a group that was formed back in 1976 when the Reading Railroad became part of Conrail. And the people in this group felt that the history of the Reading Railroad should be preserved. Uh, they began to collect artifacts, they actually collected equipment that belonged to the Reading Railroad. Many photographs, documents of all types, and with a goal someday of having a museum. And this is the museum that they sought to have. Uh, it started in 2008, and it contains 70 pieces of rolling stock, that's locomotives, freight cars, passenger cars, cabooses, uh, of the Reading Railroad for display. And it also houses many, many photographs. We also offer a tour of one of our cabooses, and it's a fascinating tour. Uh, the caboose was an office on wheels for the crew. Uh, it served as a resting place, almost like a Winnebago. There are bunks in the caboose. Uh, there's a stove to keep it warm in the winter time. Uh, and then the conductor had his desk there. Uh, so what you see at our museum is how railroading was for at least 100 years when the caboose was uh, in use. Our museum also has a gift shop, which we're very proud of. Uh, there are model trains that you can buy of different scales. And there's also a Geotrax uh, table, which the children love. The museum's open every weekend uh, on Saturdays from 10 o'clock in the morning to 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and on Sundays from noon to 4 o'clock. We also offer group tours by appointment. 